Here comes my neighbor. You can see that it's almost, it's dusk and uh, I'm going to have to check out and find out what it is he's doing because I'm not a farm smart girl and I don't know. He said a couple of days ago that he's going to put, uh, that he's going to be planting cotton. So, this could be, isn't this exciting? He's about to make his turn. The art of farming. It is going to rain tomorrow, so I'm betting that he is getting a jump on everything. You walk out here in the field. Never had the opportunity to be up so close. I hope he has lights on that, um, piece of machinery. I have seen them out here many times with lights on into the night. Let's look at um, what he's been able to do here. Here are the ruts. Can you hear him coming? It won't be long now. I see him. It's so still tonight, except for the cows talking. He's coming.
It's getting darker. I've always heard that farmers work from dawn till dusk. Here's a helper. Turning around. And he's planting cotton, you said? Cotton, yeah. And what kind of machinery is that? That's a John Deere tractor and a Kinsey planter. Kinsey planter. Mm -hmm. Well, I have never been so up close <laughs> to one in my life. But this has been an exciting planting season <laughs> for me and my YouTube friends. and. Uh, I appreciate y'all's patience. Uh, you have to, you'll have to 
catch him picking cotton this fall. I can hardly wait, and I'm going to be taking um, uh, shots of it as it grows. Mm -hmm. I told him the other night that I had had to go across Madison County into uh, Newmarket to get pictures last year of a cotton field. <laughs> so now now I know, I'll, I'll study a lot about cotton. Yes, that's cross now the road now. <laughs> yeah, this is just wonderful. Yeah. Just wonderful. I'm old enough, I used to hand pick for a fellow right down part of this place. Can you point again? I said I used to hand pick some, you know, when I was about 10 years old. Are you put kidding? Put it in a pick sack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have heard that is the hardest job oh, that picking cotton it's is. terrible. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. I'm Monotonous. sorry. Monotonous. <laughs> what was your technique? Uh, my technique wasn't very good. I just picked one row. Some of the, the ladies could pick two rows and and past me, but I wasn't, I wasn't but 10 or 11 then. Yeah. You know, I wasn't, but, but I, I didn't really have much technique. So you learned early? Well, a couple of years and then bought cotton pickers. You know, I see. Pickers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to give you all my phone number so that when you all start picking, I want to be home that day. Okay. That would just be terrible if I was off teaching somewhere and missed it. So <laughs> I'll find you in the field somewhere. Right. <laughs> Thanks so much for talking to us. I was just telling everybody that farmers work from, I had always heard from dawn till dusk, but that I've seen y'all out here in the fields many times with those lights on. Oh, yeah. Is the air conditioning working in the cab tonight? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> well, again, thanks so much. I hope this is going to be a great season. Well, thank you. How long will he stay out tonight? Are y'all racing the rain tomorrow? Yeah, we're trying to beat the rain. Good. <laughs> I hope you do. How, how big is like this field to the tree line over there? This field here is about uh, 25 acres. I have no concept of acreage unless there's a house on it and I've seen the the numbers. This is a story about a true story about cotton picking. Well I was uh, picking and I would uh, pick one row and I'd put the cotton in one hand like pile it up and then I'd uh -huh. try to put it in the sack. You know, the sack would be attached to your shoulder and you'd be yeah. dragging it. So I'd put a big pile up and I try to put it in the sack and I drop about half of it I guess and so the, the fellow that had the crop that I was working for he finally figured it out and he made me go back and pick up all that cotton that I dropped <laughs> I don't know how far back <laughs> oh my goodness but the best part of it was uh in the middle of the afternoon he would uh furnish us Moon pies and uh, and uh, and double colas. Oh my stars! <laughs> that was the only good part of the cotton picking. I see.